thank you so much for checking this channel out. I am Jane and I am drinking my delicious tea out of my Eva Klein original mug on my spinny chair. Um, enjoying that it's a sunny, beautiful day. Seriously grateful for my friend that got back from India and um, brought back this beautiful mala which um, has rainbows on it, which I love rainbows. <laughs> I feel like I would be like one of the one of the spokespeople for like all things rainbow in life. Um, just made me think about like Rainbow Bright and all these the kid things and Punky Brewster and and all these childhood memories that I have that were so rainbow and colorful and fun and loving the Care Bears, the My Little Ponies, and all that stuff and and it was like whatever traumas I experienced or witnessed, I always had this like colorful um, unreality that I could dive back into and envision a world full of love. Which brings me to the topic that I wanted to talk on today. So um, I put it out there on my last video just talking about living a fifth dimensional life in a third dimensional reality, right? Like living um, as awake, as ascended, as aligned, as um, aware and, 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 and navigating the reality in a third dimensional density, you know, where there are still people fighting and oppression and, and racism and just isms, really. Like, that we still live in a reality that has this stuff. And, and how to navigate through those old frameworks of, of what the patriarchal program has instilled in us and then creating something new and aligned in a fifth dimensional reality. So someone had written in and um, shared some of their experience and so I said that I would touch on that in this video which is kind of nuts because of what I experienced yesterday um, with some children actually in the state capitol and, um, and then talking with someone today and what their child experienced yesterday on a school bus. Um, and what the person who had written in had experienced as a child. And they were all traumas, you know. Um, and and we, we get to experience a lot of traumas. Like, you know, a lot. Um, so, um, some things that I just want to talk about. So here I am, right, like, as, as the spiritual guide and working with people through, like, quantum entanglement and quantum healing and ascension. And like navigating real life shit, yo. Like, you know, we can clear out the ancestral realm. Awesome. You still get to go to work the next day. <laughs> you know, well then how do we be? Anyway, so I think Jupiter just went into, that into, into Sagittarius, which is still my sign. <laughs> and um, which is kind of obvious, I feel. Anyway, so I think it'll be there for like a year. And in this galactic dance, uh, as, especially as we enter Sagittarius season. Um, so the, the galactic center, this like nebulous void, <laughs> um, which probably is a little bit oxymoronic, but still I think you're catching my drift. This, uh, this void space, this, this, uh, the emptiness or the fullness, right? Where all things come from or nothing exists. It's kind of like the very center of us, the center of a nucleus, the center of an atom, like whatever. The very center of a Merkaba is complete stillness. So the galactic center is, I see it as that. So that to me is where like all this source energy kind of comes from. I'm not saying that that is source. However, that's how I'm seeing it. So the center of all that is. And the way Jupiter has aligned, a lot of the source energy is coming in. And I was, I feel like I'm gonna deviate if I go too far into that. Um, which maybe it'll just be two other videos or another video. Anyway, so we have all this energy coming in. That's why I do my BDSM squared event so that we can integrate the energy that's coming in um, into our physical body and clearing out the other stuff and make room for the new vibrations. My chair is a spinny one. So I'm trying to get comfortable without moving with my flag shirt on. Anyway, so, um, 
so the energy that's been coming in um, this past full moon I was seeing like golden rays of energy plunk like coming into this realm a uh, very solar plexus activating very courageous action to live from our heart um, creating intentionally and it was interesting because I was seeing this energy as um, not quite a light wave um, not quite a sound wave not quite a radio wave um, but it actually it was weird because it was bright and light and had a heavier density to it like a plasma like but for real like a plasma like um like a plasma that you can see through like an ultraviolet light so I was seeing a lot of that coming in and as all of the planets are moving and where they've aligned I see a lot of the energy coming in to be more plasmatic in nature which means that we gonna feel it you know we're accustomed to light waves like our body is accustomed to light waves I mean we got the sunshine we get we're around light you know we don't get um, plasma waves of this nature very frequently um, and it is just a part of nature so last week I guess when all this was coming in like hardcore with the, the energy and the portals and the moon and all the alignments um, I was feeling it in my head uh, literally um, in my head my body I think I mentioned it on here on the last one um, anyway so as all this source energy comes in you know continually like activating and reactivating and up leveling each of our chakra systems and also the entire nugget of the human that we are so that we can continue to ascend in, in this life and create new programs as we release old program and continue growing there are certain things that I see happening that well I want to shine a light on um, a part of it is the, the notion of time you know um, time is the only thing that like time is this like it's a, it's a unit of measure time is a unit of measurement it's like cups or ounces or feet you can't run out of cups cups of something but you can't run out of cups right you can't run out of feet can't run out of ounces it's that's it's just a unit of measurement and so as we continue to grow and evolve as a collective the timelines that we have been taught as a reality on this Gregorian calendar we're gonna be like ah oh, snap that's not even legit anymore and that's not remotely close to the reality that we're all living in because so many are gonna start living more now more now more now more now because as we live more now we live a more fifth dimensional life when we go into the past or we go into the future we start to um, click back into that third dimensional reality the thing of fear lack judgment and stagnation right that elite patriarchal program so as the notion of time starts to dissolve we will um, release a big tie <laughs> that bound us to that density which kind of allows for like springboard ascend <laughs> So I see this big fast boing of um, ascension coming up for a lot of people and if you're watching this then you know hey maybe this is for you to hear if you're listening to this and you're like this makes no sense this is bullshit not for you maybe in another timeline right anyway so all of the the, the time um, we'll start to and this is what I've experienced so far so the the notion of like time actually folding on itself and having experiences that are like hmm that are it's like I've been here and I've done this but I haven't or maybe I have been here and I've done this like when I was a kid but I'm doing it again in a new way um, I, I I found some yearbooks recently in my attic from when I was in middle school um, and I'm just like flipping through in the photos and y'all no joke so many of the people in my yearbook from middle school like states away of growing up the people that I know here 
in this city, I swear it's like the same person. Like I saw one girl and I was like, oh my God, that's so-and-so here. It's not. But in this timeline, it's, it's like the same thing. And it was like that for so many of the people in my yearbook. And not like, oh, this person reminds me of the other person. Nah, dog. Like they reminded me of them. They look like them. They move like them. Like everything about them were so similar to the persons that I am knowing in this now. Craziness. So that's all this, like, everything is happening now. You know, we have, like, photographs and memories and all that. But, like, it's a consciousness. It's a, it's a way of being. And um, so as this source energy plasma comes in, as it did heavy style last week, if there's a space to clean out, clear out, release, uh, became aware of it physiologically, okay? So, um, it's like the more light you shine in a room, the more you can see the dirt, the more darkness you can see, you know, not to judge it, but to be like, oh, look, that was, that was over there. That was in the corner. Those were those dust bunnies. So it's kind of what I see happening is that as more of this energy comes in, um, it will be clearing out more stuff. And in doing so, I think that we're gonna be able to witness um, miracles, <laughs> um, healings, uh, people coming together and uniting. And I see a lot of trauma and fear of the unknown. And I see all this like happening at the same exact time. So the person that had asked some questions, they had an experience when they were a child, uh, not so great stuff going on at home, kind of stepped away and was like, this is ridiculous. Like why are like people don't need to be fighting and this is not, this cannot be a reality. And got a clear vision of a future of a, had a little time, time, time hop. And the knowing of like, no, it's actually, it's all going to be okay. <laughs> okay, good. Whew, it's all going to be all right. And, uh, yesterday, um, I was with some children and we witnessed, uh, many of us witnessed a really crappy car accident where an SUV T-boned a van and the van went airborne, flipped and landed on its side. Loud sounds, uh, smells, you know, people, everything was like eerily silent except for the sound of just, you know, like a random horn. It was, you know, and sirens in the distance. It was very surreal how that time just kind of went, you know, and so many people like ran to the scene. And so some of the children um, were having a challenge in this space of witnessing this trauma. And so some were crying, some were shaking, some were just like frozen. Um, some weren't affected in emotionally. Um, and some were like, what do we do? You know, like, you know, so it was, it was, it was different for everyone. And a couple of them that were, um, very affected by this witnessing were with me and I was holding them while like, giving my witness statement and ID and all that stuff that the police asked for. And I was sharing with them like, you know, yeah, this is nuts y'all. Like this is crazy. And also, my nose has been itching. And also, the miraculous nature of watching these two men crawl out of the van that was like crumpled on the middle and like on its side and like windows busted out on the back. And next thing you know, this like six foot something, you know, skinny dude comes crawling out of the back of the van. And we're like, yeah, whoa, what? Chow. So we were, I was just talking with the, with the littles about just the miraculous nature of human and how we can go through so much and be okay. 
And it doesn't mean it's not scary. It doesn't mean that we don't prefer it. It doesn't mean that it's good necessarily, but we are so resilient. You know, and then some people that worked in the in that area were coming by and stopping by and talking to us and talk, sharing their stories of like a car accident or something that they had witnessed that was traumatic and how they were okay. And, and just, it brought this community together of strangers talking about um, gratitude and how grateful we were that everyone was okay. Like everybody was okay. Like if this woman had hit this van, like a foot in either direction, van would have spun out and probably taken a few human beings down that weren't in cars. You know, like it couldn't have happened in a better way. Like of all the crazy things, that literally could have happened in a better way. And I feel that it's almost like when we can pause and see it from this outside higher self perspective, and we can drop in the knowledge of like, it's all right. Kind of like when this person had written in, it's almost like higher self dropped in, source knowledge, whatever you want to call that, dropped in to say, it's all going to be all right. And I see that now with all this energy that's like literally starting to come into this realm, like, whoa, we're going to start to see, depending on our perspective, that everything is all right, that everything is going to be all right. We're always going to be fine. We're going to be taken care of. We can take care of ourselves. We can take care of each other. We're not alone in this. Because as the magnetosphere on the earth is wobbling, becoming less stable, becoming less, you know, this energy that's coming in is not only like a unique galactic experience, but this energy is like, cool, we can get to the actual earth so much easier. We, the, whatever. I, I, I personify a lot of things, I guess. Um... And so, you know, when, when we're in that space of, like for me, when I was in that space of telling the, the littles yesterday, like, like, you know, you can have your feelings, y'all. You know, some of you may feel a lot right now. Some of you may feel tomorrow. Some of you may not feel anything. Some of you um, may feel triggered around this. Some of you may have fears around this and it's all okay acknowledging your feelings not saying that anyone else should feel a certain way or be a certain way because of what happened that's where we start to become a really powerful human species um, and I think that that goes a lot into living a fifth dimensional life in a third dimensional reality especially as things shift and people go through their own transformations and their own changes honoring the way that feels to them because for some it's really scary and alone for some it feels like a hug and a community you know some people feel anger like no this is not right and it should change and it's not that any one feeling is wrong i think it's honoring that that shifts our reality so that we become vessels that can handle this source energy that's coming in because as soon as this source energy is coming in and if I'm at a place that says well you shouldn't be feeling a headache because or I don't know whatever or well you didn't drink enough water and that's why your head hurts I'm gonna blame you for your pain then I, I it's I don't want to say you stop the flow of that energy because you can I mean it's energy but you don't feel it as fun y'all <laughs> Like source energy, y'all, if you think about source energy, it's like legit, like whatever your beliefs are. Source energy is like love and more. <laughs> it's like love 3.0, you know? So being able to receive the source energy and to then be in gratitude, feel the gratitude, feel the love, feel the ease, feel the indulgence, feel the pleasure, be in that space. Then we can not ignore or be blind to when traumas happen, but we can be more grounding and, and solid and, and connected for those that are having a hard time in those trauma spaces. Um, I, so I think that I, I feel like we've all been in traumas. 
We've all witnessed traumas. We've all experienced them. We've all been the, the, the giver of, of traumas and traumatic events. You know, whether it was for, you know, a partner, a parent, a, a sibling, a friend, a collective, an animal, you know, every time we, you know, if anybody's ever killed a fly, yeah, that's, that could be traumatic for someone. It was traumatic for the fly, at least until they died. Anyway, um, but you know, we all handle it differently and we've all been programmed to, to basically stuff it in. You know, if something freaked you out or scared, you just hold it in, you know, don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Don't, don't share. Don't just hold it in. Process that deal with that shit on your own. You know, unless you're like, unless you were brought up like, well, because you are a woman, then, then you must cry or you were raised because you're a man, then you must be angry and let it out in anger. So it's like, we had those three options basically in our culture. Look at that nose. Look at that. Look, that's funny looking y'all. <laughs> that's like hey you know you shove it in or you let it out in this way or that way and those are the only right ways to do it I think we're gonna we're walking into a time where we're gonna witness a whole lot of people feeling traumas and expressing it in, in a myriad of ways being able to hold that space to me is living a fifth dimensional life you know in a third dimensional reality you know it's it's holding everyone in the highest and honoring where they are and and also being like you know so if you're gonna flail around with your boxing gloves on and aim those at me i'm gonna leave because you've crossed my boundary you know we can still be you know sovereign fiery powerhouses forces of nature in love with big boundaries and big nose and big creative ideas to change the entire world so, um, so I wanted to share all that, um, the traumas that I've witnessed, um, that, you know, happened when we were all children or yesterday, um, literally and, and getting through them, allowing our higher self or source perspective to kind of see the grand scheme of things. And being all right if people don't see it the same it's all right like it's all right so I hope that was of service um, if anyone has any other questions or inquiries um, that you think may be of the highest good for all you know hit me up um, Click on one of the links below, send me an email, you can send a comment. Um, and I would, you know, I'll do my best in answering it and however I can. I love questions, y'all. I love questions. Um, and I don't know if I touched on this, but someone asked me if they heard a gong on here on the last video. And I think I stated it in the video. I hope I did. If I didn't, then not cool. Um, but when I do these videos, I listen to listening to smile music. It's frequency minded music and it's very specific megahertz and hertz and all the fun things of, of frequencies that, um, kind of keep a vibration steady for me so that it's, it's easier for me to, to stay focused or to channel or whatever it is that I'm doing that I want to stay focused on. Um, if you're interested, the link is below. Great music for meditation and for chilling out in your home and listening in the car. Really just, I recommend it. I've been using it for years and I'm an, I'm an affiliate. So if you use a discount code, you save like 40% y'all and the discount codes on there. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I guess I'm gonna make another video about all the stuff I see um, 
with the different realms and the different levels of consciousnesses and the earth herself, um, the plasma waves that are coming in, um, how we assimilate with all of that. And meanwhile, back at the ranch, living a daily life. <laughs> Humaning is fun, y'all. We've never gotten to human like this before, you know, where we get to make all the changes. You know, we get to change the system. The system was created for man by man. Well, maybe, maybe the system needs to be changed so that it's created by human for human. You know, or maybe created by human for life, for all of life, for all the, the beings on this earth, for the earth, you know, for the waters, for the animals, for the planet itself. Like, we can do this. Like, we really can do this. If we all stood together, oh boy, we actually could do this. Um, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for changes. And I know that they are underfoot. So I hope that everyone is enjoying their now and um, processing the traumas, however you need to process them, you know, sit with it, feel it, shake it off, literally he'll shake it off. It actually helps to clear the energy out of our physical body and around us. Um, you know, get back in nature, Remind yourself that now is the only thing that's happening. And as craptastic as the traumas are, when they are over, they are over. And there is a space of rejoicing in that. Um, so, anyway, take care of yourselves and each other. I look forward to hopping on here again. And like I said, keep enjoying these nows. And namaste.